Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. You know, we just turned the corner in November, and Thanksgiving is on the way. And right. For shoppers, Black Friday oh, is boy. just about three weeks or so away. Yes. And lots of people will be hitting the stores. Well, we have a list next of some things you should definitely buy at Wally World. Oh. Things you should buy at Walmart. And that's next on Men Are So Smart. I can't wait. Well, Ronnie, I was looking at some stories that we could possibly do. Lists of things. Right. Uh, ten things your dog's poop can tell you about its health. Oh, yeah. Uh, ten times dead people got elected to public office. <laughs> <laughs> or ten ways to tell you're in a toxic relationship. So I picked... Things you should definitely buy at Walmart. I like that one much better. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some of the things you should buy with Black Friday coming around. Number 10, always known for low prices, as well as its price matching policy, you can snag some pretty good deals on televisions. Yep. Walmart sells refurbished TVs for as much as 40% off the original price. Yep. In fact, you could get a 32-inch refurbished TV on their website right now for less, get this, less than 100 bucks. First of all, who buys a 32-inch TV? Who buys a refurbished TV? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we say refurbished TVs, we mean televisions that were returned to the store by customers for whatever reason. Okay, so it's not like they've been rebuilt. So they took it home and the wife said, no. <laughs> no, they took it home, they watched the game they wanted, and then they brought it back. Now, we know. remember that story about the lady that brought the Christmas tree back to Walmart after right. Christmas and she yes. said it was dead? Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's that customer policy that they have there. Uh, now, we know that what you're thinking, you're thinking that if they returned the TVs to the store, then there must have been something wrong with them, right? You think? No. So why would you risk buying a possibly detective, defect, detective TV, <laughs> Magnum <laughs> PI, <laughs> right? Well, according to Mashable, which is the people that bring you potatoes, uh, Walmart tests all of its refurbished televisions to make sure they work like new and checks them for any visible signs of wear and tear. And if you find your refurbished set just isn't working out for you, Walmart also has a 90-day return policy. So when you're buying a television, you got nothing to lose. You know what? Walmart. That's the job I want. What are you doing? I'm checking this TV, make sure it works. Yeah. Yeah. You got some popcorn? That crazy, Maury. <laughs> you are not the mother. I'm watching Goldbergs right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. On our list next. Next up, mattresses. Oh, I've never thought about that. Oh, mattresses can be expensive, mm -hmm. but they don't have to be. Okay. Uh, in fact, you can get one from Walmart for a little, as little as $99. Yeah, that's, that's right. What size? And what's more is you don't even have to worry about lugging it up the stairs. Walmart's mattresses come packaged in a little box. Well, not little. I can't imagine it's, that. It's not like this big. <laughs> yeah, matchbox car size. <laughs> Just out of water. Right. <laughs> um, so a mattress in a box. Okay. And we have done this before through uh, IKEA. Mm -hmm. IKEA's mattresses come in a shrink wrap. You know, there are lots of things in a box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> this The Ikea one, and I can speak from experience, when you undo it, it's like one of those uh, life, fr life boats. Yeah, 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 in the, in the cartoons. Everybody too. stand back. Yeah. Because that thing Whoa. opens up with a vengeance. And I'm going to sleep on that sucker. <laughs> the mattresses use a new rebound technology that allows them to be folded and vacuum sealed. That's my rebound. rebound. Yes. <laughs> Uh, block out. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get it home, you just have to open it up and it will expand naturally to its regular size. It'll take about 30 minutes. Um, Sounds like my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's not quite normal size. <laughs> the uh, Slumber One 8 inch spring mattress in a box currently has over 8,300 reviews on Walmart. Oh, wow. Many of which are five star. Hmm. So there you go. Who knew? Oh, well, well, yeah, I guess that's why you don't see them at Walmart. They're all they're folded all up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Things you should buy at Walmart prescriptions, and I do. I do, too. Uh, you could end up paying as much more for over-the-counter drugs at a pharmacy than you would at Walmart. For example, uh, and this is not a commercial. Please don't take it as such. This is tips for shoppers. CVS sells Dakewell Severe for 
while Walmart's store brand goes for just $2.98. But did you also know that you could save on prescription drugs with Walmart's generic drug plan? According to NBC News, a recent study found that Walmart's $4 generic prescriptions beat Medicare's co-pays 21% of the time. Holy cow. That's, uh, you that's, know. That's bucks. Yeah. Uh, the study, which was published in the Annals of Internal Medicine, sorry, uh, was conducted in part because of the recent discussions about pharmacy gag rules. I'll continue. These rules prevent pharmacists from telling customers that they could save money on their prescriptions. Uh, For example, drug companies and pharmacies know that customers end up paying more out of pocket when they use their health insurance than when they participate in Walmart, Walmart's generic plan. That's dirty. It's wrong. That is dirty. But it's forbidden and in some cases banned to talk about discounts. Customers can always ask about these savings, but it doesn't cross most people's minds, NBC News says. Wow. Oh, and a side note, at least 22 states have some type of pharmacy gag rules. That's almost half the states, and that's wrong. Dang. Fix it. Yeah, should be. Uh, next up, fitness equipment. What the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, it's these things. Well, let, let me just, yeah. Uh, you lost me when you said things. <laughs> Instead of spending thousands of dollars on fitness training equipment sold via infomercials. I've seen those. Bad idea. Uh, Walmart has several pieces of home fitness equipment you can get for less than $50. And hang your clothes on them, too. Yes, like a, like a <laughs> nice uh, treadmill. Uh, they're basic, but nonetheless, they'll help enhance your at-home workouts. Do you have some examples, Ron? I do, as a matter of oh, fact. Oh, terrific. Yes. Bionic Body Door Anchor. Uh, oh, I need that, whatever that is. I Give me one, two of those. I one because when I had my shoulder surgery, you do a lot of work with bands. Oh. And this actually is the anchor for your bands so oh. that you can, okay, you can I got work you out with the, with the bands. All right. Uh, next are the gyms, uh, Gold's Gym Long Resistance Tubes. So these are like the stretchy, uh, kind of like they used to use on the wrist rockets. Oh, it's that, yeah. Uh, that tube, tubular, stretchy yeah, tubular Yeah, like a medical stuff. tube. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, $7. Uh, Self-fitness adjustable weighted jump rope. Yeah, I don't jump rope anymore. Did you ever? Because I used to. I did some jump rope. I, in football, they made us jump rope. I, I did some I jump rope. I got pretty good yeah, at that. Yeah. Not anymore. Well, and boxers. This is good enough for boxers. Yeah. I guess it's good enough for yeah. almost anybody but me. Uh, dual grip Pilates resistance fitness ring. A fitness 15-pound soft kettlebell. $27. That's a deal, Okay. actually. Because normally... Uh, it's about two bucks a pound, so that's that's a little off then, a little off. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and, and it's, this one is also covered in neoprene, so it's not going to mar your floor or anything if you happen to drop it. Mm -hmm. And then they have a 32-pound dumbbell set with a stand, $41. I'll say, I'll say $75. No, sorry. Oh, did sorry. you say 41 the Price is not mm -hmm. right. Bob. Oh, damn, I went over too. Yeah. Uh, All right, things you should buy at Walmart, uh, where you're going to save money. We're pointing these out to you. With Black Friday right around the corner, next up is tires. Oh, that makes a great Christmas present. Uh, f oh, are you kidding? Under my tree? Four <laughs> of them? Or maybe five? Uh, according to Go Banking Rates, you can get tires from Walmart for less than you could if you were to buy them from Sears or some discount tire store. At Walmart, you can shop Goodyear tires starting at $70.00 oftentimes saving you up to 5 or $10 on individual tires. Offering more savings than Sears and even discount tire stores like Discount Tire, um, Sears offers the same Goodyear Wrangler tire, tire for $123 that Walmart sells for $72. That's almost 50%. Wow. Holy. I know where Damn. I'm going Sunday. That is crazy. Yeah. Um, well, I mean... Yeah, uh, another thing. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's, it really is. That's in, that's crazy. It's it is insane. Now, how does that compare to TireRack.com? I don't know. Yeah, you have to do the little research to find that. Yeah, out. and I I buy my tires from my Corvette for Tire Rack because every other place in town they're crazy expensive. I'm not. It's two thousand dollars put four tires on my Corvette. 
That's ridiculous, Ron. It, it's crazy. It really is. But then you probably got some special ass size too. They are they're yeah. staggered size uh -huh. and they're really big and really wide. Yeah. Yep. So all right, our list of things you should buy at Walmart. Antifreeze. Yeah. Oh, I think I've done that. <laughs> um, according to Delish.com, antifreeze is Walmart's best selling item in Alaska. Well, I'm I'm mm. gonna shop there. If only we were in Alaska. Oh, we're not. Uh, and rightly so, with the average summer daytime temperatures in the Arctic far north region barely making it out of the 30s, Alaskans feel the need to load up on this blue radiator fluid. Um, so, and antifreeze is not just antifreeze. It's also works the other way also. It, oh, cool. Man. It raises the boiling point of your, your water. You know, I know this is not a car show. I already do one of those, but I want to tell you something about antifreeze that I believe to be true. And Ron, we may disagree on this. I'm not sure. Okay. I don't think we've had this discussion. All right. About 15 years ago, car manufacturers found out that they could specify a particular coolant slash antifreeze for a car and have it be, say, a color. It could be orange. Right. It could be green. As Ronnie alluded to in this story, blue. Right. There were different colors. And you were told that you needed, when it was time to add or change or refill or whatever, you needed to use that same exact color every time. In fact, they had a Dexron uh, formula for General Motors cars. Yep. I'm here to tell you, that was all bullshit. I'm telling you right now. Wow. Coolant is coolant is coolant. The only reason that they did that was for proprietary purposes so that they would make you go to the dealership to buy that coolant. If I'm not mistaken, there was a court ruling on this that said that is not the case. You can use any type that you want. And frankly, you can go to your Walmart store you can buy, um, what is it called? A Prestone. Prestone. And um, it says right here, Ronnie, what does that uh, say? All makes, all models. People? There it is. All right, next up, Ronnie. Yeah. Things that you should buy at Walmart. Uh, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> Starbucks coffee. Ooh. Not, you know, liquid in a cup, but beans ground up in a bag. Everybody loves a good cup of joe. Not me. I know you don't. I don't drink coffee. Especially, oh, Ron here. I like the smell of coffee. Coffee smells just fine. Mm. <sighs> Somewhere out there, the listeners of your show are taking a hit of Irish coffee right now. Yep. And for those who want to have Starbucks at home, I've done this before, the company does sell bags of ground coffee. Uh, you could get some from Amazon, but in most cases, you'd be required to purchase a six-pack of 12-ounce bags. Um, That's a lifetime supply. Uh, costs about 30 bucks on Amazon. And subscribe, subscribe to Prime Pantry, which requires Amazon Prime memberships, a cost of $12.99 a month. Wow. Or you could get a 12-ounce bag from Walmart for 7 bucks. Oh, bingo. Seriously. Yeah. Really. That's, that's and, yeah, you, you know, that's another thing. Everybody... Talks about how they buy stuff online. And you know me, Ronnie. I don't want to go into stores. Right. I don't want there to be a lot of people. Yep. But honestly, sometimes you can find a better buy at a brick and mortar than you can online. Yeah. It's true. If you do the research. Now, yeah. here's the d distinguishing point about this. It depends on how quickly you need it. Right. Yes. Okay. So, if I, if I find that I've got to change my radiator, let's say... And and put uh, uh, coolant in there. You know, I need it that same day. Right. I need it right away. I can't wait a day or forty eight hours or three days to get the pressed on. Or what about if you run out of dog food? You think the same dog's, thing? Your dog's gonna be okay if? It, oh hey, yeah. The food will be here Tuesday. Yeah. It, they'll knock at the door. You'll know when it's here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, uh, Sparky. <laughs> right. Yeah. So dog food. Eh, you know, there's certain things that. Sometimes you got to have them right away. I try to buy my dog food in advance, mm -hmm. but sometimes... Is that a store advance? <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it's like, rut row, <coughs> yeah. we're out of dog food. Yeah, I know. Yep. Um, all right, next up. Oh, uh, now this <coughs> one, I can attest to. Okay. Wine. All right. 
Okay. Oh, you're going to refer to your wedding. <laughs> the, the, the wedding. Wine. Mm, oh, that kind of wine. <laughs> uh, wine can be very expensive. One bottle can cost more than a three-course meal. Thankfully, Walmart has decided to get, to get into the wine business. Uh, just this past summer, the retail giant launched Winemaker Selection, a collection of wines from around the world that includes sparkling rosé from France, uh, Chianti from Italy, Italy, <laughs> Italy. <laughs> and Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles in California. Huh. I've been there, as a matter of fact. Uh, good news is you don't have to worry about breaking the bank on these wines. Each bottle costs about $11, and they're pretty delicious also. Each wine in the winemaker selection has been carefully curated from the best wine regions of the world to bring you expensive taste at an affordable price. Um... The only bad news is they're only sold at select Walmart locations. Now, I will tell you this, too. Sam's Club, which is just a warehouse Walmart, has some amazing wines. They do. And we go to Lodi. Uh, there's a, uh, a particular uh, vineyard down there that Vicky loves their wine, and it is really good. It's called M2 Winery. And the... The local, the Lodi Sam's Club has M2 wine on their shelf. Oh, they yeah. Don't, they don't sell it here. but they Regionally, sell it. yeah, yes, I get it. It's okay. a regional wine, and so uh -huh. they sell it there. And it's just a tiny bit cheaper than the winery sells it for. So, yeah. yeah. You know, you want to do business with the mom and pops as much as you can, too. Right. I'm sorry if you disagree with that. And we, we typically, we go down there and we'll taste... We do wine tastings at M2 Winery, mm -hmm. uh, and we have bought... Vicky actually belongs to a club there, so she gets, I forget what it is, three bottles every three months or something from them shipped here directly. So we are, but when we're at Sam, when we're in Lodi, uh, we go to Sam's Club and we, we buy a few bottles. I just... You know, Ronnie, I'm just not big on the wine anymore. It's like I just got bored with it. Yeah. Um... I I'm I don't drink very much, but the only thing I will really drink anymore is probably wine. Yeah, you and know what? not even a beer. Very rarely, I have I have beer in my refrigerator from last Christmas. Oh, that's why you keep offering me beer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now now it's starting to make more sense, <laughs> Ron. Would you like one for the road? No, I'm fine, <laughs> thank you. All right, and finally on our list of things you should buy at Walmart. And I think I made this mistake with this computer, Ron. Oh. Uh, I didn't buy it at Walmart. Oh, yeah. I bought it off of QVC. Figure that one out. Uh, wonder. Wonder. Hmm. Did you know that you can get an all-aluminum Acer Chromebook 14 from Walmart for a mere $219? That seems pretty reasonable. Now, unless you have extreme demands on your computer. Right. I would say I kind of do with all the editing. I don't know if that's a good oh, idea. Oh, that's true. Uh, this 14-inch, excuse me, screen laptop comes with an Intel dun, 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 uh, Celeron processor. Is that the wrong one? Celeron is... No, no, the... Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Uh... Dun, 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 dun. That sounds like ESPN. Yeah, it's... Um, dun, 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 I think. Yeah, 14-inch screen laptop comes with an Intel... Uh, Celeron pro processor, four gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of SSD, and 100% aluminum chassis. According to PC World, it's about 30 to 40 dollars cheaper than you would normally pay for an Acer Chromebook 14. The downside to this otherwise great deal is that the price only applies to the gold color oh. version. Who cares what color computer you have? Right. Really? By the way, you can also find special deals at certain times of the year. Uh, for example, Walmart's Tax Time Laptop Value Bundle went for $235. Dang. Included a bag, a flash drive, and either Microsoft Office or Tax software, which can be wow. very helpful. Conclusion, yeah. now that you have the scoop on Walmart savings, I think we have uh, given our viewers an opportunity to snag some of the best sales and deals that you'll find out there. For Black Friday. Well, and you know, when you go to Walmart, make sure you have your phone set to camera because you're going to want to take some pictures of the people at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> there is a whole website dedicated to the shoppers of Walmart and what they wear. 
So they accept donations from anybody. Uh, if you have a picture that you would like to uh, forward to them, I know they'd love it. And I can't believe some of the stuff that people wear in there. Oh, I know. It's crazy. Well, I, I, I know, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, the last time I remember I told you, the last time I was in Walmart, I went in there to get an oil change for my car to buy the oil and the filter. Right. And I had to sit down because I had a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> There's just too many weird people in Walmart. I'm uh, sorry. Give me a freaking break. Now, I will tell you this. I went in there to pick up my prescriptions one day. Yeah. And I was not feeling... I was not I was a little under the weather. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what? I can drive to Walmart, walk through the garden department, right. to the pharmacy, get my prescription, and walk out. And I'll no be one home. would know better, yeah. I'll be home in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I threw on some clothes. I got there. I got home. And as I took my pants off... I noticed that they were split. Oh, Ronnie! In the back, on the back leg, probably eight inches. And I thought, eh, oh well, <laughs> somebody got a picture of it. Maybe I, I fit right in. <laughs> I might be on the shoppers of Walmart page. Well, that's pretty much uh, where my shopping is done. It's either done online or at Walmart and not by me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, and you know what? I got to say a special thanks to my wife because, she, you know, she watches out f for my little anxiety things <laughs> and she knows how bad I am at stores and she knows I don't want to go into a store unless I absolutely have to. I will, but for the most part, mm -hmm. no. So thanks to my wife, Teresa. Yeah. Uh, okay, Ronnie, that's going to bring us to the conclusion of this particular episode of Men Are So Smart. We hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, I did. Uh, if you didn't already know, we have almost 350 episodes of this program. And we hope that, uh, in fact, I'll say this, we know that you will find at least 50 episodes that you will completely be interested in yep. should you go back through our library of episodes uh, and we would appreciate that. And feel free to comment, too. Yeah. Oh, we love the comments. Yeah. We, we always try to get back. And Ronnie is very snarky. Yeah. I love uh, I love a snarky return. He loves the snark. Yep. So leave a message. We'll get back to you uh, right below in the comments. Uh, if you need to get a hold of us for any reason, you'll find that information below. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Subscribe. Hit the bell. We need it. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We... We'll see you next time.